actually what I have done here, that I want to share some new experiences for our center, that is the center, Kaduri Center for Learning and Teaching uh, Innovation. Actually, it's only a start, so that I'm going to introduce two, uh, in, just in 10 minutes, within 10 minutes, I'll just give an introduction to both experiences. One of them is about education to work transition, while the other, which you have in the schedule, is about uh, something that is uh, related to integration of technology in education, that is smart boards, and the, how you can use it effectively. I'm going to start first with the first uh, experience that is related to uh, curriculum development in a new way. We were, uh, yesterday, we heard much about how you can uh, move from education to work directly without going with an experience in, uh, uh, to get more experience in the company system. So it's some kind of how first we worked with, uh, I'm talking about a team that worked together from uh, the accounting information system in uh, our university. Actually, we, there was a problem in this program that employability was very low. So there was something to do. We have to do something related to how to relate that to private sector, how to work with the private sector in order to enhance our curriculum in an innovative way that students can get better opportunities for work. So we, could find, we, uh, we did a full needs assessment uh, for, we, actually we did a questionnaire for all the companies in, uh, or most of the uh, medium scale and small scale. We don't have large scale uh, companies here in Palestine. We talked about small scale and medium scale companies mostly. Uh, we did a questionnaire. We did uh, actually this, uh, defined there were problems with curriculum. It's a uh, traditional way of teaching, theoretical. No practice was done. We had a problem with English language that our graduates could not work outside Palestine. There was a problem with uh, international standards for learning and teaching of uh, accounting systems. In, uh, uh, so students, they can work here in Palestine, but not if they want to go to, let's say, to the regional or international work, they can't. So we did a full SWOT analysis and uh, we decided to work in order to, uh, I'm not going to go into details, but I'm just going to describe what have we found. Uh, there was actually, we have to decide whether to continue doing it traditionally or we have to work. There was some recommendations to have a competence-based curriculum to redesign it and redesign all the courses with the private sector. This is the new thing that is, uh, have not been done in Palestine. We, we, we are now, uh, we uh, did some memorandums of understanding with the, uh, some private sector companies in the accounting, and we are doing now training within the courses themselves. So, we redesigned 12 courses, or 15 courses. 15 courses, now we have uh, practical training integrated into the course itself. And the new thing that the assessment and evaluation, the private sector 
would uh, participate in assessment and evaluation of students at, and it could be considered, which is something new also. Uh, according to what we have been done, uh, we have been doing in the past, we first exam, second exam, and finally we have some activities or something like that. Actually, our target group were our students and uh, also this needs that to work with the faculty in a new way. Now they have to work collaboratively with the private sector experts, which is something new now. Uh, to work in an academic institution is different than working in a private sector. They can't gain the practice without getting uh, affiliated to it. Uh, so we decided to do a capacity building program and try to make, redesign the uh, courses on competence base, uh, try to change the assessment methodology uh, and try to adapt the international standards for teaching and learning of accounting system according to our case. Uh, now, one important thing for we are working with uh, uh, what we call EBM college that is economy uh, and uh, uh, we have to work with entrepreneurship as one important issue so our graduate our students and I mean undergraduates we have only undergraduate programs uh, they should work now their projects and graduation projects will be affiliated with real cases from private sector. So this is also new. Now the private sector will be also participating in evaluating students for their projects. So we are uh, working with a project-based design somehow with, uh, with participation of private sector, which means that there are new ideas, new uh, uh, innovative ideas. So, uh, now, we are defining now, redesign the courses and update them uh, according to international standards and competence based. Uh, for BTUK students, uh, build a new policy of training. We have a training policy that is inactive. Uh, we need to make it more active and the students could gain better experience. Uh, research and innovation projects with cooperation with private sector and to facilitate graduates employment so that they can get better opportunities. Uh, so uh, it was defined that there are IT skills should not be learned as uh, one part but it could be integrated in each course. Uh, so, uh, what we have done that we are now cooperating with public public sector. There are there is the public sector, private sector, and the university. Uh, I'm just in order to be honest uh, to go back to my presentation. If I have a few minutes, just okay. One minute. <laughs> okay. I will just mention it. I will just mention it. That's it. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, we are doing uh, research here. Actually, doing it. My colleague Reham, I'm not sure if she is here now, but we are doing it together. We've done a research on smart boards and how to use it interactively in uh, a micro-teaching environment so that students get uh, use micro-teaching in their environment and then uh, uh, try to apply how to use smart boards interactively. We've done first stage of that research. Uh, maybe here I can ask a question. Who can use who or who uses from faculty, smart boards in an interactive way. Not only smart, 
I saw many cases that teachers use smart boards as presentation. So now our idea here uh, uh, to make it interactive, how to use it interactively. And will that really uh, promote uh, interactivity and enhance interactivity into, will smart boards do that? We, we could find some findings here in the research. It was very interesting, but uh, we did first some training for our students, then they did it themselves in a micro-teaching environment. They, did, they designed uh, some, uh, some courses and gave it to their colleagues, and then we, uh, it was video recorded, and then they could reflect on that. So uh, probably we'll be continuing this research for next semester. Uh, okay, thank you very much.